As dewy dawn gives way to early morn, the sun's first rays shine their blessings on a land long receptive to it. Daybreak is not just the time to wake, but a chance to rise, to salute the sun and celebrate the divine. And so yogis of all castes and creeds unite body and mind, spirit and soul through the ancient discipline of yoga. Connecting the inner self to a cosmic consciousness starts young in India. And what better way to serve the cosmos than to take care of its creations? The Sekmal Eco School takes this mantra to heart. Its students have helped build the low-cost sustainable school and run its green farms and solar energy systems. Sekmal is just one of India's many experiments in education that have led to the quadrupling of literacy rates since independence. The famed Indian Institutes of Management and Technology create wealth and employment over $450 billion worth of value and 20 million new jobs. Access to funds has increased, the government is suddenly supporting Startup India, Make in India and you know all of these programs that are coming out. Following in the path placed by Indian giants like Tata, Reliance, Infosys and Wipro, a generation of engineers and entrepreneurs are creating exciting new startups like Ola and Zomato, while e-wallet services like Paytm are propelling the nation towards a cashless society. There's never been a better time to uh, start up. And uh, I think India is at a point where uh, the system will actually uh, give way to a bigger ecosystem of uh, starting up and building great companies. Surging, speeding, streaking ahead, India, the world's seventh largest economy, is slated to hit third place by 2050. Supporting this growth is a massive investment in infrastructure, which allows the benefits of development to reach everyone, just like agriculture allows the bounty of nature to benefit everybody. <laughs> Turning mud and manure into green gold is a labor of love. A farmer's gift of fresh harvests and delicious meals. Life here is a celebration of the simple made sublime. A midday meal is a chance to connect to centuries long gone and cultures going strong. After all, Combining a culinary tradition stretching back millennia with the willingness to accept the foods of migrants and monks, traders and invaders gives Indian food mind-boggling diversity and finger-licking flavor and shines a spotlight on the Indian tradition of making space for all. My grandfather had come before the Second World War. He had come down to India. I can understand Marathi, I, I can understand Gujarati. So like that, I got a lot of friends in different walks of life. India is a country of God because this land is very holy. So that's why we say food, eh? it's a land of God. India has long delved beyond the physical and into the metaphysical. The freedom all faiths enjoy gives rise to a beloved tradition, festivals. No religion has a monopoly on festivity, for joy is the birthright of every community. And as some of our greatest thinkers, be it Tagore or Ambedkar, Vivekanand or Gandhi have stressed, being Indian means respecting, indeed celebrating our differences. The approach to diversity in India has been very different, which is continuously respecting other people's truths. It's not about trying to go towards one truth, but celebrating the other person's truth. In a land where the taste of water is said to change every three kilometers and the dialect every 20, where faces blend and races mingle, the only way to unite a country is to give everyone a stake in running it. And so, every five years, the world's largest celebration of democracy takes place. Elections are proof that people can put aside divisions and come together as one country where centuries collide and history meets legend, where the world unites and nature beckons, where architecture astounds and stones become poems. 
architecture is second to none to even imagine that they actually built that stuff with chisel and hammer is it's beyond anything I can think of. Mm. Incredible. Incredible. And I would love to come back to India because we only got to do a little bit of New Delhi, a little bit of Kashmir. I know there's a whole world of India out there ready for us to explore. One little known aspect of this world that tourists are increasingly exploring is wellness and medicine. India attracts patients from developed countries like the US, the Gulf and Western Europe who don't see any drop in quality. And affordable procedures means that India is a ray of hope for patients from Africa and Central Asia. International companies are all now vying to get into this country uh, and I think as a consequence there is no looking back, uh, there's only looking forward and moving forward. If the future of medicine shines bright, the potential of medical research is boundless. Indian pharmaceutical companies have reverse engineered costly medicines, creating a $1 a day HIV drug, an initiative hailed by the United Nations. Striving for the stars and getting there is also the hallmark of ISRO, India's space research organization. Mangalyaan, its Mars mission, and NAVIC, its satellite-based navigation system have excited the global imagination and reinforced the country's credentials to be a major research and innovation hub. As the sun sets and the stars rise, a generation of Indians come out to celebrate in a million ways. In India, all our understanding of our culture comes from the oral traditions. Tradition has been passed on from generation to generation through stories and through songs. And that's primarily the source of Indian culture. The madness of movies is infectious, a celebration of life. Movies in India are made in over 30 languages. One of the few film industries to withstand the onslaught of Hollywood, Indian cinema not just survives, but thrives around the world. In a land where even time repeats itself, day's break is not day's end, but the rise of a new dawn. Every dawn reveals India anew, yet it has been the same for centuries. Its sights and colors immerse you in diversity. Even the darkness is magical. It has been the same for centuries. Yet each morning, India reveals itself anew. <laughs> 